We have a special type of video today, crew. I have to give a shout out to my man, Josh Munn, for letting me know that a professional rugby player by the name of Louis Reese Zamet, he just announced he's retiring from professional rugby to try his hand in joining the NFL. The NFL, crew, that's gonna be a crazy transition. The only other rugby player that I know that made this transition, which was semi-successful, was Jared Haynes. He played for Australia and he made it onto the San Francisco 49ers as a running back fullback and I think he had a pretty short-lived career if I remember correctly it was one of those things where it was a big headline at the time and this sounds like it's going to be that similar transition there's like a um you know like an NFL breeding center in Europe where they try to transition players from the EU into the NFL system so we're going to see how it all turns out crew we're going to check out some highlights from this man I'm going to do some reaction and give my thoughts on him and see where we can you know envision this man playing in the NFL and uh, seeing where he's going to land crew so I appreciate y'all dropping in if you like this type of video be sure to drop a like hit the sub and notification all that good stuff and we're going to get into this video baby let's go So checking them out, it says Louis Reese Zamet is a Welsh former rugby player wing, a rugby union wing. He played for Gloucester in English Premiership and for Wales in the national level. Welsh, okay, so he's on the Wales team. In 2021, Reese Zamet was selected to tour the British and Irish Lions. On 16th of June, 2024, he left rugby union to join the NFL International Player Pathway. And that pathway is just like... How they have to had how they had NFL Europe back in the day where they had all the European teams like the Barcelona Dragons and that league is it ceased to exist anymore but I remember remember growing up during the spring football time they had all of these NFL Europe teams I think they had Germany Spain and you know all across I think 12 teams told or something like that I could be wrong I have to check but um it's cool that they have this feeder system because now that we have spring football with the UFL uh, which is the XFL and the USFL combining and making one league. And now we have my, for the first time I'm hearing is this international player pathway. So it makes sense why the NFL, NFL is traveling to all these different countries while they're playing in London, while they're going to Germany to play, going to Mexico, because they're trying to build up that fan base and that pool of athletes instead of just having to rely on American football players. And that feeder system is pretty cool. So it looks like he's going to jump into this one. And hopefully it's a, a successful transition because, dude, look at his freaking height. 6'3", 216. Good God, dude. That's like a freaking monster, bro. I imagine he's a fast player playing wing in rugby. He probably has wills, man. So we're going to check out his videos. I've never seen any of them before. It says, Lewis Zamet scores bangers only. Six minutes. Let's see what's the plan's popping about. The headlines from there were about maybe the concerns we had about the quality of test rugby. What a start it's been nice passes. this season, Six Nations Championship. Oh, Lewis oh, nice Reece kick. Zammett. He's got first run on home. Oh, that's nice, great. good try. Good try. He has wheels. Charges back round on the other angle. Sharples can perhaps dart through. Some big dudes. Oh, go. Get loose, young in. Oh, shit, he got some shoots on him, huh? Get off me, little boy. Set it down. Get that good try, baby. Nice. Resummit. Super he's agile. Look at look at how agile he is. Kick, look at that. His ability to change direction. It's just what Lewis does. His ability to change direction is really good. Look at that. <laughs> Boop. Stop on a dime. Sit down, little boy. You love him, don't you? I love him. I think he's absolutely brilliant. Let me get that easy try. Tap that thing down, baby. Get your kick in. Williams again. Coming out the scrum. Oh. Nice little Reece kick. Into the end goal area. He got the pace. Look at him. Pick Holy sh His separation. Oh, damn. Oh, That's crazy. Lightning. You see him freaking it's take off. Holy lightning. shit. That was dope. He could play. He, makes the he might even break. be like a good wide receiver. There's no one else wide really receiver there. running back. Coming out that scrum. Let's see it. Evans, nice. May. Good plays. Steps on the gas. Yeah, he got oh, wheels. That is, he said it perfectly, the acceleration. The way he's able to separate from the defender is exceptional. Good God! He came out of nowhere! 
He came out of nowhere on that left side. That's crazy. He has great acceleration. His top speed is great. Look at that. Okay. Cast that pitch, young man. Dive it. Get that try, young man. Jesus. Okay, they're all. Oh, that guy's hocking him down, though. It's just that he separated from that, that angle. That dude who was hawking him down is fast, too. But he just pulled, he broke his angle. Atkinson, flat pass to Get loose. Nice punt. Nice little kick. Picks up, goes good over, strength. Scores. Good strength. Good balance. Yeah, he's, he's legit. He's legit. And it's handed off. Get loose. Handed off like that, you're gonna get punished. And away oh, that guy's not catching him. <laughs> you know that? You can see the angle. He's not catching him. He goes from first to Don't pull a hammy. You ain't gonna catch him. Away. And Hastings is there. And Reed is on the ball. Look at him go. Look at the separation. Look at the separation. Chases on. That was lazy by the defender. Like, come on. Oh, never mind. Never mind. It looked bad. He just like he all ran his feet. Ooh, what a good pitch! That was a good pass. The little back off, the little back handoff. That was nice. Oh, ooh. Get loose. Kick it out. Kick it out. Let's go. Yeah, it's gone. Damn, they beat the hell out of these guys. The only thing I would say, like, if he's switching to, like, if they put him in a running back position in the NFL, he runs uh, he runs pretty high. And in the NFL, like, in football, um, I know he, he's breaking, he's getting loose. But once you're coming off, like, you're not going to get, he, he'll get a pitch out if he's running, like, he's playing running back in the NFL. He'll get a pitch out. Um that a sort of resemble a, a rugby pass but in the nfl if he's getting the handoff if he's running so high he has he can get his freaking head knocked off if he's if he's not careful because you want to be able once you get the rock like you want to be low going through the hole and how he's running up high that's like just an easy like kill shot for a linebacker or anybody coming through so that's one thing i would say would be a different transition going into the nfl and playing like american football because it's so much close quarters and it's like happening um a lot faster i would say um so he has to basically if he's if he's playing running back he needs to he needs to drop his, his center of gravity down lower running through the hole because otherwise he'll get his head knocked off but dude he has incredible speed agility quickness and all that stuff and like when it comes to like breaking people's angles he has it man he freaking has it so he's a skillful dude like they like the nfl said an exceptional athlete and you couldn't just see it from that that film i could see him playing running back and even playing like a slot receiver well, six three he's pretty big yeah like a slot receiver even like a like a outside receiver and they're like running routes especially if his hands are good because he has the speed he has the quickness has the agility and he's able to pull away and separate it'd just be interesting to see if he does play running back how he would transition um to like carrying the ball like getting it for, as a handoff from the quarterback other than getting it like pitched out on the wing so to speak so that's what i would that's that's just my thought process on that um like i said dude's for a dude's a freaking a freak athlete man he's a he's a beast um it's just running i just think for the running style would be like running a little bit too high like with his chest up high he'd have to come through the hole a lot lower more tucked and just be braced for the brace for the contact uh with football that's what i would think just from my thought process right now of checking it out so it'd be cool to see how he transitions let's see um, what he does, he has a hat trick for the well Bellows for Wells. And the flying finish from the magic man, David Niniashvili. Oh, this was last year's World Cup. Gareth Davis, a scarlet player, 33 years of age. Tompkins <laughs> in a bit of space to run here for Wales. Flat. George North flips it over the top. Williams nice kid, nice there. touch. Williams, Look at him, see? Oh, kick, yep. He's there, he knows where the ball is. Shifts it. Downfield, look at him fast. Like he makes everybody else look like they're walking in like mud nice oh wells kicked the crap out of him okay yeah that guy's speed you see a separation is is incredible like it looked like everybody else was running in freaking quicksand compared to him. He was just pulling away effortlessly. And that's hard to do, man, because all these athletes are world-class athletes. And for somebody to make that skill, like that speed, look noticeably, noticeably different, 
he has to be on another level of wheels i wonder what his 40 time would be in the nfl i would imagine he runs like a 4443 something around that i would imagine he runs like a 4443 i don't know what the translation would be in rugby i don't know um their measure of speed i know like in baseball they run 60s um but i don't know in for football's 40s but i want to see what they run in rugby i think he'd probably run like a 4443 somewhere around there in um in in football so mm, it's interesting to see let's check his next one yeah 22 years old might as well man the average nfl player is around that age 21 22 getting out getting into the league so might as well take advantage of it while he's of age because it only gets harder as you get older in athletics for damn sure young enough fast enough athletic enough take the chance i'm rooting for him he's hard-nosed that guy's winging it <laughs> you can tell that guy's running slow yeah yeah he's tough beating ireland that's a big old hoss right there boy good try yeah he's good field vision look at his head you see him his head's on a swivel good strength being able to put to kick it and pass it oh there he goes he has dope style too look at those kicks oh that's not him oh zamet hocked him down okay zamet i see you good pursuit good pursuit nice angle it doesn't look like he's a great tackler from that shot i'm not sure though y'all let me know he's an offensive player for sure uh, lightning fast is the word beautiful runner look at that oh shake him see fight through contact good vision what a play what a damn play oh look at that what a freaking play he's high he says great coordination you know how difficult it is to run full speed and pick up a ball while running it takes so much skill and coordination he has it man that's freaking dope he's gone <laughs> that boy said i saw i know i saw that cat look to the left he's like, oh shit that's us over he said it's over good vision that's beautiful when it looks they make it look so effortless man it's cool to see i want to go to a rugby game this year oh yeah you can't teach speed boy get off me get off me little boy yeah fights through contact yeah i like this kid he's dope nice tackle way to put his head on the other side to bring him down that's tough nice one-hander okay okay i see you yeah like one-handed in traffic good play i wonder how much rugby players get paid in comparison to nfl athletes that'd be interesting to know reese zamet i'm interested to see how he does man i hope he does well that'd be freaking cool to see to see him uh break into the nfl market be a huge transition for darn sure i don't know man who knows like I think it'd be dope to play international rugby. Like just any professional athlete is cool. But being able to play in though, like against people in the entire world, that shit is dope, man. That's something to be tough to give up. Like going to New Zealand and beating their team and like putting on for your entire country. Like that would be dope, man. I'd be tough to give up because from a global scale, it's a lot more massive than like the NFL as far as like, you know, travel and all that stuff. But I, I, that's why I said I'm interested to see the money that goes into being a rugby player compared to get being paid as a NFL athlete. I imagine these guys get paid a lot of money. Like soccer players are like the highest paid players in the world. So I imagine rugby players get paid very well too. Oh, shake them. Oh, got to work on that stiff arm. Got to work on that stiff arm. That's dope, man. Louis Reese Zamet. Man, hope he does well, bro. That's freaking dope. Dope highlights, man. Man, this dude's a freaking beast, man. Louis Reese Zamet, 22 years old, 6'3. Two, what was he? 216? Faster than hell. He played wing in rugby. I'd imagine if once he makes the transition into the NFL, I believe he would play either a running back or wide receiver. Like I said, the only, you know, 
guess critique or thought I would have is just like how high he runs. I know rugby is a way different sport than uh, than football, but getting a handoff from if he's playing running back, getting the handoff from the quarterback, that the quarterback running back exchange. He's going to have to definitely drop his pad level a lot lower than what he's getting in rugby because if he's like I said if he's running up high through a hole you're going to get he's going to get his freaking head knocked off and like that's a for certain and I think that was the problem with um with Jared Haynes when he was playing for the for the Niners he was an incredibly fast athlete as well I remember coming out of uh rugby he was running like a 4243 something around that I imagine uh Zamet is just as fast if not faster but the problem they saw was the ability to change direction in that short in that short range or in that area of of a handoff and like also his pad level being able to like running too high because if he pitches it out it'll be just like a rugby pitch right a, a rugby pass you can get a little you can get a little kick out and running around run around the edge but the problem is you got to keep them your shoulders lower because you're going to get freaking lifted. Um, and I just think rugby, it's, a, it's a definitely a, a physical sport. But with the added addition of uh, pads and helmets, football is even more physical in my belief. Um, both are just exceptional. You have to be an exceptional both athlete to play both of them. I just think as far as like the amount of physicality and collisions that you see, football is definitely um uh like a car crash every single play and so it's more collision than than rugby so that's what i would say would be the only thing that i would see but i hope honestly i hope he transitions and makes it makes a break into the nfl and I'd, I'd be interested to see what team he would play for it'd be cool to see him play for like what team would be dope i would think he would look good in uniform he looked dope in that um when they're wearing the turquoise uniforms if he played for like the jacksonville jaguars i think that would be sick because He's on the he's on the East Coast. He's just across the pond from being in the, in the UK, and it's just in Florida. So it would bring that market close. And even even like playing for New York would be dope. Like anywhere on the East Coast, I think would be freaking sick for him to play. Um, just as my thought process, because I was just looking at the uniform colors, like the New York Giants for sure, because the red, the blue, and the white would like be a, co a color combo that he's sort of used to. And then like with that turquoise would be like the Jacksonville Jaguars. Those are just two teams I'm thinking of off the head, just shooting the <laughs> shooting the breeze a little bit crew. But honestly, man, I think it's dope that they're having this, this program uh, for athletes to give a shot into the NFL. And if he does make it, man, I'm gonna be following it, going to be following his journey. It's gonna be a lot of fun to see um, how he does, what position he ends up being, and like how his skill set trans translates into football american football that's what i'm really interested in seeing i know we've had one rugby player as i mentioned do it before and it was semi-successful and i just hope that his journey into the nfl is more successful and i think it probably will be because it seems like the nfl has set up a program that will build the skill set of becoming like using the the exceptional talents that he already has the skill set he has and helping him translate that into becoming an american football player and i think that's maybe what jared was missing when he played for the 49ers he just came sort of just like you know hot off the plane dropped in san francisco and just like had to go through training camp and go through preseason and try to make the cut which is incredibly difficult if he hasn't played the game for as many years as like uh like as american athletes have so it's nice that they're starting him off with this training program to get him into the culture of american football and i think that's what's going to be a benefit to him transitioning and having a successful career in the nfl so i hope he does make it and it's going to be a lot of fun to see crew let me know your thoughts on this video do you like these types of reaction videos and if you have any more rugby players or rugby film big hits that you want me to watch let me know crew i absolutely love rugby when watching it my entire life been playing the video games my entire life and i also have to give a shout out again to the man josh munn for recommending shooting this video i appreciate you big dog and uh crew that'll be it for this video i appreciate you dropping in be sure to drop a like at the sub and notification if you like this video and drop a comment below what else you would like to see on this channel we're going to continue to build out and have more fun into this 2024 in our descriptions below we have everything qsn we're currently running 50 percent off all of all all of our gummies right now the laser focus stack launch zone and restore so our gummies are all 50 percent off we're in the process of developing new products as well and just doing whatever we can to help gamers become healthy so if we're going to make snacks or protein bars or whatever we make i'll let you know i'll keep you up to date on that process but yeah, definitely drop into our website sign up to our newsletter letter to stay posted on everything that's going on crew i love you i appreciate you always remember to stay laser focused on your dreams and your vision and remember that you're in control catch you on the next one all right crew peace